Hello everybody. It is December 29th, 2020, and I'm out at the barrel today with another motor. This one is a 1960 Evinrude Fast Twin, 18 horsepower. Um, just got this thing finally dialed in to where it's it's not sneezing a lot. Um, I built this motor out of two. I had one that was decent, and the other one was really rough. Um, this was the decent one. The, the other one was really ugly. Uh, so this one had a broken steering handle. It had a bad gear case, a bad drive shaft. Um, yeah, and it still had original ignition in it. So I took, the, took both of them apart and then took the steering handle from the other motor and replaced this one. Um, along with the tiller, the tiller was also, uh, damaged from the other one. The gear case, uh, I took from the donor motor, put on this one. It had two broken off screws in it. The, uh, the 3816 large bolt in the back of this one was broken off. And the, one of the three water pump screws was also broken off. I managed to get the broken piece out for the 3816 bolt. Uh, it was took me quite a bit of work, but I did get it out of there. And uh, the water pump screw, I ended up drilling and tapping out to uh, 1024. But it all went together and works fine. Um, it got a new, the, the gear case got a new shift rod O-ring, uh, spaghetti seal, and new gear oil, uh, new water pump impeller. Um, this one also got new transom clamp screws and pads. These came from the donor motor, which on the donor motor had already been swiped off of another motor because these were originally 56, 57 Johnson screw handles and screws. Uh, you can still see some of the holiday bronze reddish maroon paint showing through. Um... This one had a good power head on it, still had original ignition, I think I mentioned that. So it got a new set of coils, uh, points, condensers, plugs, plug wires. Uh, the carb was rebuilt. When I took it apart, it was completely clean. It looked like it had never had fuel in it since the rebuild. Um, I just sprayed it out to make sure there was nothing else in it and put it back together. Put new, uh, I did put new packing washers in it. They were so-so. Eh, I replaced those and I put a new boss gasket in it. Um, other than that, it was it, it was already done. Um, let's see what else. Uh, clean the fuel filter, fuel filter bowl. Put a new filter bowl gasket on it. Um, Cleaning, uh, did, uh, got to set the points with the timing fixture. I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, this one also had the rear pan mounts, the isolation mounts where the two in the rear were broken. I took two of the, there were two good ones left on the other motor, and I took those off and put them on here. So the pan is solidly mounted again. Um, so that's it. I was... Having a lot of trouble with this one, lean sneezing on me, and uh, I've been working at that, trying to tune that out. I finally got it to where it's not doing that anymore. So I'm going to show you how this one works in the tank, and then next season we'll get this one on the water. Uh, it should be a good one.
obviously I do have a test wheel on this, so I could do that.